Welcome to our How to Make Google Slides video. The first thing you'll have to do is open up a new slide document, which can be found on your Google homepage. Next, you'll have to add a title for your slide. You can do that by simply clicking in the box and typing up what you want the slide to be named. After that, you may want to insert different things from the internet. You can insert text, you can insert pictures, and all of those things can be found on the right screen of your Google Slides. Next, you can add as many slides as you need. So if it's one slide or two slides, but make sure for each slide you add the title of that slide. So in this case, these are slides that are going to be part of a presentation. So this is a list of what is needed for the presentation for performing arts. You can click on each slide and as you click on each slide, it will present a new title and new options for you to add information. Again, whatever you want to search for should be found on the right hand side. And it's really simple. You can look on the internet for images and then simply click insert, put them where you want them and then size them to fit your presentation. Keep in mind, this was done by a third grader. So this is really an easy process for you to figure out. You can change the color of your text by choosing the little A with the line under it, or you can choose the kind of text that you want to use by going up to the different kinds of font and then choosing one that looks most appropriate for your presentation. You can also use the feature present and see what it looks like. The theme is the background of your slide. So if you want a plain white slide, that's great. But then if you click theme, you can see all of the interesting ways that you can add color and dimension to your Google slide presentation. One interesting thing is you can also use the spell check so that par forming becomes performing. If you want to size your text and move it around, you simply grab the ends of it and extend it longer or shorter. Remember, always go to that explore bar if you want to add in different pictures or if you want to add information that can be found on the internet. This is a great way to make any presentation more vibrant with pictures that you can see that really help you tell the story that you want in your presentation. So that's basically how you make a presentation. Now you're ready to present what you've done. Thank you for watching our video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click on the bell button to get notified every time we post a new video.